the mass bands play Hail Smiling Moor, a tune associated with the border town of Selkirk in the Ettrick Forest, and it's the second Friday in June each year. Here's the standard bearer and the standard of the Royal Borough of Selkirk with his two attendants. He will set out to ride the marches. That is the boundaries of the borough. And as the standard bearer sets out to ride the marches, so the mass bands play some of the songs that Selkirk knows well. Five past seven on a June morning in Selkirk. They've been up since 4 a.m. The second drum has sounded. And here are some of the followers who will ride the marches with their standard bearer. Riding the marches or boundaries is common to many of the Scottish border towns, but in Selkirk it's taken particularly seriously, associated as it is with the Battle of Flodden in 1513. The standard bearer must be single, born in Selkirk, and have ridden the marches as an attendant. First of all, he has to cross the ford at Ettrick Water. And only later will the attendants and followers follow in his wake. So on across the border hills with the moorlands and the fields, so typical of the border country. And up to the three brothers. The cairn is a traditional way in Scotland of commemorating the courage of part. The cairn is covered the proud standard. forests and the moors of the borders. The standard bearer and his attendants and his followers. He brings in the color at a gallop. He is met by the banners of the crafts of the toll. Escorted to the marketplace by townsfolk, followers, and the pipes and drums playing All the Blue Bonnets Are Over the Border. traditional movements of casting the colour at the climax of the common riding celebrations have been handed down across four and a half centuries from standard bearer to standard bearer. The traditional accompaniment is a tune called Up with the Suitors of Selka. The town was once famed for its shoemakers or suitors and their single-soled shoon or shoes.
as the bands play the lilting. The for up Scotland's national memorial to the In two world wars, the cost to this small nation was very dear, but never dearer than five years ago at Flodden Edge, just across the border. There in a few hours, Scotland lost her king, 12 earls and 14 lords. Of the entire Scottish peerage, only four remained alive. And what of the people, villages and towns, all of the little town of Selkirk, of 80 young men who rode to battle, only one came back. He bore a blood-stained banner which told the tale. His name was Fletcher, and he left four brothers,